how to destroy limiting beliefs. Environment, um, control what you are partaking of. So you have an environment, there's different things bombarding your mind and your beliefs all the time. So if you start getting around people like us or, or feeding your mind and your spirit, um, videos from Evan Carmichael's um, channel, start taking that in and that will change your beliefs. That's what I have for right now. I think the hardest thing is um, catching them, you know, catching them, especially while they're in the moment. So mm -hmm. at the beginning, you, you you may not even be aware that they're limiting belief. Like that's the, that's the hardest part at the beginning is like, oh, I didn't even know that I was thinking that way. Uh, and then you'll get to the place where you, you notice that you're thinking that way, but you don't catch it in the moment. You notice it afterwards, you know, the next day. Uh, and then you'll get to these special moments where you, you catch it in the moment. And then it's choosing to take the courageous, bold action to do the thing that you normally wouldn't do. Right? Like yeah. Zan doing his Monday night workout on stream. Monday night workout. <laughs> it's, it's overcoming a limiting belief. It's great. And sometimes we need help to catch what they are and to be called out and helped and, you know, move forward on it. So it's, it's, do you know what they are first, right? I think most of us live, like the problem is most of it's in our subconscious mind. Yes. It's on autopilot. You don't know what it is. You don't know what your limiting beliefs are. And you're not catching them nearly enough. You're just being run by the program. So the trick is to move it to the conscious mind, even though it, it still won't be most of the time. Every now and then you catch it. But every time you catch it, and then you do the thing that makes you proud. Oh, this you'll is so good. That. This is so good. Evan's on fire. Am this I? is good. This is good. Go ahead, Evan. I got it. I, uh, can I inject something for, before you finish? Sure. What you just said is so I'm important. I'm going to let you finish. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to let you finish. But, but this Taylor not Swift. Finish. But this, he's so right because so much of it is a part of your subconscious mind, Morbius, and everyone out there. That you don't even know it's there until you're tested and you're pushed <laughs> outside your comfort zone. Like, oh, that's a limited. You don't even know it was there until your coach tests you and push you outside your comfort zone. Now you have to deal with it. Okay, go ahead. I like how you interrupt me to tell me that I'm right. <laughs> but you said I, I want. I want to end. I want to end more clearly uh, to my great. answer. But I gave her. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, so, so that that becomes the game, right? It's like finding the thing, and and environment is is key. Um, recruiting the people around you, right? So, what are some trigger words for you? You know, for me, it's scary, difficult, hard. I have to do it. For for Zane, it should be, I'm embarrassed. He needs to do it. You know, like whenever we've got these moments, that means you have to do it. That's how you can move from the subconscious to the conscious.